Today we're heading to Outlaws of Thunder Junction Standard to do a little plotting, all on just a $50 budget. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth Olive, and it's time for another edition in our first Outlaws of Thunder Junction edition of Budget Magic, and we have a sweet one today. We are heading to our new standard format to play Mono Red Plotless, I guess. It's basically Mono Red Prowess, but it's built around the plot mechanic, which makes it play kind of like this weird Prowess Spell Slinger Storm deck. The best part, the deck is like 50 bucks in paper, 11 rares and mythics to put together on Magic Arena. So super cheap to play, and it's also incredibly powerful. So let's talk about what this deck's trying to do. Jump into some games, see it in action. So the core of this deck, as I mentioned, is we're a Prowess deck. So if you look at our threats, we have Monastery Swift Spear, Prowess. We have Fugitive Codebreaker, Prowess. We have Slick Shot Show Off. This is the big new addition. This is the reason we're playing the deck. A card that I think is maybe the most powerful card, or at least one of the most powerful cards from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Two mana, one, two. Flying Haste. When we cast a nine creature spell, it's plus two plus zero until end of turn. And then we can plot it for two. So it's essentially like a flying kiln fiend almost with haste that we can also plot. And then our last set is uh, Kimano faces Kazan, uh, which turns into a two, two eventually, but also triggers all of our prowess stuff. So this is kind of our creature package. The key card here, though, is Slick Shot Show Off. This is a card that makes a deck into almost a storm-style combo deck. So when I first saw the plot mechanic, my initial reaction was, why would I ever want to do that? Why would I want to pay for my creature now, or pay for my thing now, but get it later? That seems like a bad deal, right? Like, why would I ever want to invest all my mana, but not have my thing on the battlefield? Well, the way it works with Slick Shot Show Off is the mechanic's actually kind of busted. Because what we want to do with this deck is we want to try to plot Slick Shot Show Off, and then plot a few other cards. We're not just a Slick Shot Show Off plot deck. We also have Demonic Ruckus, which plots and then gives a creature plus one, plus one, and Menace, and Trample. And when I go to the graveyard, we get to draw a card. We have four Highway Robberies, just to discard a card or sack a land to draw two, and we can plot it for two. So we also have these other plot cards. So what we're really trying to set up is a turn where we plot Slick Shot Show Off. Maybe we plot a Highway Robbery. Maybe we plot a Demonic Ruckus over the first couple turns of the game. And then we're going to try to set up this one shot kill combo turn where we play slick shot show off we unplot all of our other stuff it's all nine creature spells so it's growing our slick shot show off we can cast like antagonize as a pump spell we can cast monstrous rays as a pump spell we can cast burn spells like play with fire lightning strike and just one shot kill our opponent on the spot with a huge slick shot show off and bonus damage from like swift spears and fugitive code breakers and kimono faces kazan and when this deck is doing its thing it can be winning on turn three like the turn three kill is very possible with this deck in turn four kills are like the normal speed i think like on average if we just goldfish this deck we'd probably win on turn four most of the time it is an incredibly fast deck it's also really consistent because we got all this card row we got highway robberies we got rent resolves so we got all these ways to dig through our deck so the deck's super fast super consistent super cheap which makes it kind of the perfect budget magic deck to show up our new standard format so that is budget plotless that's our budget magic for today thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoy it and i'll be back in a bit for the wrap up need some magic cards well you can snag them from our sponsor card kingdom over at cardkingdom.com slash mtg goldfish we've got new tokens and play mats and you can even get the token signed if you want check them all out over at mtggoldfishmerch.com budget magic time outlaws of thunder junction is finally here and we are playing some mono red plot prowess and this one looks fine we got this look slot show off got some removal spells a little bit of a little bit of pump a little bit of burn see what our opponent's up to copper line george and black leaf glyphs for a charming scoundrel sure down to 19. who play the land oh, this is very interesting yeah i mean i think we just have to just cast this it gets the counter Plotting it is good, but getting the counter off the etchings is also good. Hopefully it lives. If it doesn't live, we're a little light on creatures at the moment. Opponent. Discerning Peddler. ETBs. Discard and draw. Discards a Rakdos. That is a big one. Opponent gets in for a lot. Hits us. Down to 18. Passes. Oh, we draw land, which is good. So play the land. Well, let's... Monstrous raids the etchings. 
uh, play with fire your face. I guess we will keep a monstrous rage and uh, play with fire your face. And hit you to two here on turn three. <laughs> <laughs> this slick slash show off seems like uh seems like a magic card it seems like a bit of a magic card that was turn three we were very close to lethal on turn three opponent gold vein hydra sending a message smacking us unfortunately for our opponent we will uh send them a message of death <laughs> don't even need to guess anything and that was incredibly impressive. I thought Slick Shot Show Off would be good. Maybe it's like really good. That was really close to a turn three straight up aggro kill. Ooh, this hand looks pretty good. We are doing some uh, plotting in standard. $50 budget, 13, I think it's 13 rares. Uh, what do we lead with? Let's play the mountain. What is our plan here? We actually have to think. So we can play this into this. We can play this into plot this. Yeah, let's just, let's get the saga down, I think. Get the saga down. Opponent, schwamp. Play the land. I wish it was a mountain. That would make this better. Yeah, let's just swift spear. I'm expecting a cut down here. That seems likely. All right, no cut down opponent deep cavern bat we don't currently have a way to kill that unfortunately we do kind of have a handful of action they take the card draw we draw a saga we flip the saga you know what let's just slick slot show off just cast it and attack all right opponent here we come we come we come we come Du, 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 du. The bat having lifelink is kind of obnoxious. I mean, if you gotta kill something, you kill the show off. Like, the show off's the card that can pop off the most here. I do wish this foundry was a red source. Opponent, insatiable avarice. I imagine they're looking for a wrath of some kind. So, yeah, I guess we just play the saga. Yeah, let's just play the saga. Get some triggers. Ping ya. Attack ya. Gonna block drops to they must have tutored a path to peril that's the only thing that makes sense playing the saga oh they go for blood letter interesting i mean the thing is isn't our opponent dead here attack so they're playing the combo this antagonize yeah opponent <laughs> doesn't block we will cast yeah, they were dead either way blocks or no blocks uh yeah combo the combo is sweet but uh <laughs> slick shot show off is so fast <laughs> <laughs> I'm really starting to think this card is actually like modern playable. Slug Shot Show Off is absurd. Ooh, oh, this is the plot hand. All right, we will keep this. Well, land and plot a demonic ruckus. Opponent. Tap land. Land. Plot a Slick Shot Show Off. You know what's coming for you. You know what's coming for you. Play the land. Play a fugitive. Code breaker. Go to combat, attack, and plot a demonic ruckus. I mean, we're setting up to have a big turn. That is a plan. That is a plan to set up the biggest combo we as turn. Opponent, surveil land. The only thing is our opponent could have removal. Well, play a swift spear. I mean, I think we have to go for it. Play the swift spear. We can play everything. Play the slick shot show off. Demonic Ruckus on the Swift Spear. Get some triggers. Demonic Ruckus, the Code Breaker. Get some triggers. Kimano faces Kazan. Get some triggers. I think Leyline Binding keeps our opponent alive, just barely. What is it gonna target? Slick shot show off. All right, so we will do a little raging on the code breaker, get some triggers. And wow, put our opponent to one. Just missed the turn three combo kill. And opponent, GG's. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this deck is like relatively consistently offering very close to a turn three kill, which is kind of wild. My goodness, budget magic time. We are playing some slick shot show off prowess. And I think we just start with the 
Kimano faces Kazan. Oh, bonus. Tap land. Well, play the land. Let's just fugitive code breaker with a counter. Smack ya. Down to 60. So, Ali is probably playing something big. That's typical Ali. Ali deck building. Well, play the land. I think we just slick shot show off. Play with Fire the Bramble Familiar. Hit you for a few million. God, this deck's busted. <laughs> Jeez. It's 11 rares. 50, 50 bucks. Another Bramble Familiar. Well, uh, Monastery Swift Spear. Lightning strike your face. And win. Because this deck's so busted. <laughs> This deck's like mono red, but on like a million gallons of steroids. Jeez. All right, can we play someone else, Magic Gods? Please, don't, don't, don't let it be Ali again. I'm feeling bad. Budget magic time. Outlaws and Thunder Junction is here, and we are looking to plot our way to victory for 50 bucks and 11 rares with Slick Shot Show Off. And this hand's pretty sweet. We got two plot effects. Yeah, I mean, I think we play the Saga. The awkward thing about the saga is, we'll see what our opponent does. We might waste the counter. I don't know if we want to just run out this... Oh, Blood Fountain. So opponent's got to be like an Oni Call Anvil deck, I assume. I think we're just going to plot the Slick Shot show off and pass the turn. We could have run it out right away to get the counter. I think it's better to wait until we can combo with it, especially since there's cut down mana up. If there was no mana up, then we might just run it out. Opponent, Blood. Ooh, gotta be a reanimator, okay. Well, we gotta be aggro. That's an Itali. That is an Itali, Voldaren Epic, y'all. Mm hmm. And. Are they missing lands? Maybe they're desperately digging for lands. That could also be. Sags of Blood. Discards. Oh, it's in a cool deck, okay. Finds the land. Oh, play the land. Let's plot a highway robbery. And play another Saga. Ping ya. Yeah. Well, next turn might be the big turn. Next turn might be the big turn. We got the show off. We got Highway Robbery for a, a draw two. We'll see. We have the Antagonize. We can technically cast everything next turn. Plus, we're going to get two new cards. I don't know about this Murex in a cool deck. That seems... I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it also makes counters for the cool, but they need something pretty good or they might just actually be dead. All right, breach the mirror. I'm gonna sack. They don't have enough creatures for it yet, but all right, gets the cool. Gets in for one. We draw a mountain. All right, play a free slick shot show off. Get a counter on it. Mishra's foundry. So how much damage can we deal here? Can we deal fourteen? So this is four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow, that's actually just lethal. Uh, all right, so 1, 2. Ah, I mean, I guess the lesson here is always block the slick shot show off. <laughs> Antagonize, monstrous rage, death. <laughs> oh! This card, this card is broken. This card is broken. Abona was on the play. They got in a cool into play and we still just killed them. 15 to them on turn four. And I mean, I guess what they blocked wouldn't actually matter because of the monstrous roll, right? Like, so we can give uh, give the thing trample. So I guess even if they block the slick shot show off, yeah, it would have saved them, right? Cause they would have soaked up more damage. They soaked up two. Yeah, I guess it would have technically saved them. But yeah, the trample does change the math. But jeez, oh, oh my goodness, this card. <laughs> wild, wild, wild. We got a plan. We got a plan. It's going to involve doing a little bit of plotting. <laughs> Found it. Shkrell, sure. Well, mountain and plot one. Demonic Ruckus. You. A bonnet. Botanical Sanctum. And Vohair. That thing is kind of scary. Do we need to kill this? Draw a card, then discard a card. Gain a life. Yeah. Oh, they can protect it with Skrelv. All right. Well, maybe we can't even kill it. Uh, let's just play a land and Slick Shot show off. Pass the turn. 
Yeah, that is annoying. Bound it. Loots. So if they discard an instant or sorcery, they drain for one. Discards a land. Plays a plaza of heroes and passes. Well, playing a Mishra's Foundry. Now let's play a Swift Spear. Hit ya. Opponent cycles Spara's headquarters. Sure. What are they trying to set up? Opponent loots. Honest Rustine. And plays an Honest Rustine. All right, well, opponent stepped down, so I think this is the turn we're gonna go for. It gets back another one. Plays a tap land. Well, let's see if we can deal some damage. Another land here would actually be sweet. Highway ro oh. oh, highway robbery is so good plotted. All right, let's plot a highway robbery. Okay, next turn. Next turn. Next turn gonna be the big turn. I think we're gonna end up playing with firing our opponent's face. Playing with firing our opponent's face to scry for a land. Discards a scrav. I'm a little worried about how much mana our opponent has up. Opponent. Honest Rutstein. Do some legend ruling. Get back Honest Rutstein. What is the point of this, though? Tap land. Well, let's play with fire your face. Lightning strike. Gonna go bottom. Untap. There's a mountain. Well, play the land. Play a slick shot show off for free. Play demonic ruckus on the swift spear for free. Load of mana. Highway robbery. Sack a mountain. Lightning strike our opponent's face. And then lightning strike your face for lethal. All right. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I mean, it almost, because of plot, it almost plays like a storm deck. Also to clarify uh, why we're still attacking. So the answer is, if we put the lightning strike on the stack, that would give our opponent priority again for removal. Uh, if there's for some reason removal in hand that they just weren't casting, it makes more sense, I think, to wait, since we're gonna have lethal with a lightning strike either way. We don't have to cast it in combat. So I think it's better to guarantee that the creature damage gets through, and then we can lightning strike, uh, because it's pretty clear our opponent probably doesn't have a counter. It hasn't felt like they've had a counter as we've been casting all these spells. So uh yeah uh that is the power of the plot mechanic like what did we plot three things that game a highway robbery the demonic ruckus and the slick shot show off so we spent our early turns just plot 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 fill up the exile zone and then we set up for what is essentially almost like a prowess storm combo kill turn we're just like unplot everything cast the rest of our hands draw a bunch of cards get a bunch of triggers and make you die on the spot this deck's actually kind of absurd all right Budget magic time. We are playing some $50, 11 rare, mono red plot prowess in Outlaws of Thunder Junction Standard. Sand looks pretty good. We got the Slick Shot show off. Ooh, a tap land, a crime land. Opponent be criming. You know what? Let's plot the Slick Shot show off first. Go attacking. Opponent down to 18. Plotting this first gives us the upside. If they play like a mana dork, we can slick shot show off, kill the mana dork, get a trigger. Ideally, we'd like to plot this too. We'd also like to just draw a land. That would be sweet. Wait, was that a random lightning bolt? Did you see that? Is that because it's... Oh. <laughs> there is a random fireball. What is going on? Ah, not a land. Yeah, let's uh, plot a highway robbery. Pass the turn. Gain three life, that's like cheating. <laughs> that undoes our first three turns. Opponent gets another crime land. We'd like to be able to cast our entire hand the turn that we play the slick shot show of. Opponent, glimpse the core. Gonna do some ramp. Oh boy. Oh, so opponents tap down. Can we draw land? No. Well, let's, I think we gotta do what we can do. So play the slick shot show off. Play the swift spear. Highway robbery. Give some triggers. Discard a highway robbery. Oh, still no lands. That's so awkward. Well, play with for your face. Yeah, I think we needed the land there for lethal. Codebreaker to the bottom. Hit ya. 
I mean, that was still not a bad turn, but with a land that was a lethal turn. That was just a full-on combo kill if we hit a land off the, the highway robbery. Unfortunately, we didn't. I mean, hopefully we're still okay. We still have three creatures. Our opponent's still at seven. A little unfortunate that we couldn't find land number three, but we are only playing 20 lands. All right, opponent, Brotherhood ends away our board and a land. Well, let's Renz resolve, I guess. Well, play a land, play the saga. Opponent gonna gain three more. Now I'm actually not sure if we end up winning this game. Opponent grabs a basic, goes back up to 10, drops to nine. Yeah, missing that land drop might actually, we have not lost with this deck yet. The deck's been straight up undefeated, but missing that land drop might actually lead to us losing this game. We'll see. We draw another saga. Well, play another saga. Plot the highway robbery. The silly armadillos at six life is actually super relevant. Our opponent would actually just be dead. Oh God. Smuggler surprise. Titan industry and a railway brawler and doubles the power. And I think we're actually dead. 14, yeah. Wow. Missing that land drop killed us. Well, I guess it's good to know that it is possible for this deck to lose. All it requires is getting really, uh, running poorly with, uh, hitting your lands. I guess we'll have to settle for a 90% win percentage rather than 100. Yeah, that was pretty brutal, though. Like, we literally had lethal during our combo turn if we hit a land. And we had so many draws because we had the... We had the highway robbery, too, that we could cast for free. But, uh, just couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. We are playing some mono red plot prowess in Outlaws of Thunder Junction Standard. Forsaken Miner A. Well, play the land. Play the Monastery Swift Spear. Looks like our opponent might be doing a little uh little criming, perhaps. Gets in for two with the mina. Like we're probably gonna plot the highway robbery next turn. We'll see what our opponent does. Case of the stashed skeleton. I'll play the land. Yeah, let's just uh, plot the highway robbery. Get in for one. Without the slick side show off, it's gonna be hard to get actual lethal out of just Monastery Swift Spears, I think. Oh, no, it's us. Down to 14. Swamp. Tiny bones. Deep Cavern Bat. Well, that can take the play with fire. So we will uh, plot a slick shot show off. Play a land. Sure. Well, let's plot a demonic ruckus. Past turn. Next turn's a big one. We would prefer opponent. Okay. Oh, this is great. So we win, right? Opponent gets in, they draw a bunch of cards. But I'm pretty sure we just win here. Do we win through a cut down? I guess that's the real question. All right, so what we do is we play a mountain. We play a monastery swift spear. We play a highway robbery to get some triggers. We sack the tapped mountain and draw two cards. The swift spear, get some triggers. The deep cavern bat, get some triggers. No blocks. All right, Monstrous Rage on the show-off. And Monstrous Rage on the show-off. And, yeah, that's a little lethal. <laughs> Seriously, we're just regularly winning turn three, turn four with this deck. The plot mechanic is way, at least in this deck, is way better than I expected it to be. Like, the ability to... This is a 16-3. This is a 16-3 trampling flying haster. It came down this turn, and it's 16 power. Being able to plot, like, no, not just not just our threats, but also like our card draw and our pump spells is so good. This deck is ridiculous. It's all right, Bear, we won. It's cool, it's cool, bud. So what do we learn this week about budget plotless? So first I should say, obviously we're playing during early access day. Early access day, 
everyone's trying new things. So I don't put a ton of weight in the record of a deck. I'm more looking for how do the cards feel? How do the synergies feel? Does it feel powerful? Uh, so the record for this deck, why it was absurdly good. We lost one time out of eight matches. So we went eight and one and I played a couple other matches. So it's really like a 10 in one, I think overall. So the record was really, really good. And I that is encouraging, right? It's nice to know that the deck can win a lot of games, but I wouldn't read too much into the record just because it's early access day. Why has me really excited about this deck is it just felt super powerful. Like the ability to plot a slick shot show off in some of our other cards and then just have this come down off a plot and one shot kill people was really easy to do. If you look at our games, we had some like almost turn three kills. I don't know if we actually literally killed someone on turn three. We might have had one actual turn three kill and we had like a million turn four kills. It turns out that the plot mechanic is actually really powerful in slick shot show off in specific is kind of an absurd card. Like it is really wild how good this card is. This deck is really built around it. We are a slick shot show off deck. We are trying to make it as good as possible. Uh, and it, it was worth the payoff. Like it showed during the deck and we won so many games with this card. But I think this card is just a generically good card. Like you could play this in mono red aggro or something and it's probably gonna be really good. But if you're willing to embrace it and go all in on this card, this is one of the scariest aggro threats that I've seen in standard in a long, long time. It really lives up to that like flying Kiln Fiend hype. And Kiln Fiend, I love that card. We've played so many Kiln Fiend decks. The problem with Kiln Fiend, which is very similar to Slick Shot Show Off, except it's a ground creature, but it pumps plus three, plus zero instead of plus two, plus zero. But the problem with Kiln Fiend is you run it out on turn two, and then you just have to pray really hard to the magic gods that it lives. And if it lives, you're probably going to one shot kill your opponent. But if it doesn't live, then your deck kind of falls apart. Slick Shot Show Off and Plot gets around that problem altogether. Not only does this have haste, so in the late game, if we got a bunch of mana, we can and just like haste this in and cast some spells and try to win but if we plot it it has haste and it's free which is absurd like if kiln fiend had plot it would be such a haste i guess it would be such a better card because you just get around that fact you gotta leave it sitting on the battlefield to lose summoning sickness so all around super impressed with slick shot show off and really just super impressed with this deck we'll have to see outside early access day but i expect this deck is actually a really good aggro deck in standard and then if you want to go less budget there's possibly possibilities of splashing into pretty much any other color. Uh, blue is the most obvious color. Blue has a bunch of prowess stuff. You can get stuff like consider, uh, other spell slinging payoffs. So that's the most obvious one, but you can certainly splash into blue if you wanted to. You can splash into green and get like picnic ruiner shenanigans, questing druid shenanigans. So it's a really, really strong budget deck, I think. And then it's also very upgradable if you want to add some money into the mana base and play like a two color deck or maybe even a three color deck. So if you're looking for something to play right away in Outlaws the Thunder Junction standard. You don't get a lot of wild cards. You like huge one shot kills. You like almost pseudo storm style of combo kills. You like slinging spells. You like prowess decks. I think this is a really sweet option for our new standard format. So that is budget plotless. That's better budget magic for today. That's Outlaws of Thunder Junction standard as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Looking for even more magic? Well, check out last week's Against the Odds, where we turned some harmless little face down 2-2 creatures into the scariest threats in standard with Vanifar Surprise.